now on Coast TV News. It's a cooler start to our Tuesday with another pleasantly warm July day on the way. It does start to warm up and get hotter for the 4th. I'll have the latest on the holiday weekend forecast coming up. Hurricane Burl rocks the Atlantic, the damage that it's done and where it's projected to hit next. Ocean City's taken two. We're looking at the display and the marijuana policies that'll receive public hearings tonight. Dredging to deliver change with boats regularly becoming stuck in mud like this, where Denrick is focusing its efforts in the Indian River. This is Coast TV News Today. And welcome to our six o'clock hour. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. It's Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024. Okay, as promised during break, I yes. got a history tidbit for you. July 2nd, mm -hmm. 1776. That is when American colonies mm -hmm. declared independence from yes. Great Britain. We celebrate Independence Day on the 4th because that's when the Declaration of Independence was signed. Yeah, we did that <laughs> during 1776, didn't we? One of my favorite days. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you'll catch me decked out in red, white, and blue. You as well. But they're not going to see you. I, I'll post a picture. Okay. You know what? I can, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I can send it to you, but I won't be up at that You're time. Not I'm sorry. Be up. That's it. I wouldn't be up either. That's okay. But uh, we'll bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trahi now. Bob, for this historic day, great mm -hmm. weather. Yes, yes, and uh, I guess it was our framers that were getting sick of the uh, taxation without representation, right? You know, the king didn't live here, but he wanted to tax us anyway. So we're like, no, no more of that. All right, that's your history lesson for the day. Here's our weather. We're in the 50s and lower 60s, 62 in Georgetown, 60 in Seaford, 64 in Mill Millsboro, 64 at Bethany Beach and Lewis right now, 68. We're looking at, well, a northeast flow, but inland the winds are calm, a little bit of a breeze along the coast right now as we're looking at clear skies, beautiful conditions out there. All of Del Mar were clear, in fact, up th towards Jersey, New York, back through the Carolinas. We've got high pressure in place right now keeping us high and dry so a beautiful travel day beautiful day to be outdoors really doing anything on the second day of july 7 a.m on future cast we're in the 60s and 70s very light winds and then by 9 a.m we're warming into the 70s and by noon yeah take that lunch outside brown bag it looking at lower 80s from ellendale to selbyville 81 delmar 82 in salisbury and 70s along the coast a little cooler for you around 230 72 fenwick island 70 in dewey beach but then you don't have to go too far inland to get into the lower 80s. And this evening, temperatures slowly fall back into the 70s. UV index for today, sponsored by Ocean City. It's uh, burn time only 10 minutes. The UV index is a 10. Hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, fine shade. And of course, that peak sun is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. as we're in that very high range right through Friday. So be careful out there. It does dip a little bit into the weekend, into the high range as we increase the showers and storms. Thank you, Bob. Hurricane Burl is now a Category 5 hurricane. Very powerful. It is the earliest of that strength on record in the Atlantic. For now, its eye is fairly open waters of the Caribbean Sea. It's expected to impact Haiti and the Dominican Republic beginning today. It could eventually hit Mexico, but the weather in Cancun is still very beautiful for now. But the community there getting some schools ready to be used as shelters. Happening today, a public hearing in Ocean City on two specific issues. The first deals with outdoor merchandise displays. A temporary policy is now in effect with the notable change of a possible $500 fine for a first offense. The effectiveness of this policy will be reviewed in the fall. The second one, this deals with marijuana business licenses. In March, a six-month moratorium on issuing the license was extended. That expires in September. Developing news in Milton banning certain types of marijuana businesses took a step forward Monday night. The town council voted the scheduling of a public hearing on an ordinance that's already in the draft stage. The ordinance prohibits the following businesses, cultivation, manufacturing, and testing facilities, as well as marijuana retail stores and marijuana smoking lounges. We went to Milton to hear what people living there think about restricting these types of businesses, and here is what one person told us. I think it's a bad idea. All it's going to do is attract uh, the people who want to get high for whatever reason and I don't think it's a good idea for this neighborhood. It's a quiet uh, neighborhood. The public hearing is scheduled for September 9th at 6.30 p.m. at the Milton Library. 
It's not just Milton, of course, that's looking into what the marijuana business could look like within town limits. Georgetown, they've been working on a draft ordinance for recreational marijuana businesses as well. On July 8th, Georgetown plans to have a second reading and an adoption of its ordinance. This comes after changes on timing and more. We have all those details on the new changes on CoastTV.com. This morning, Delaware State Police will continue to determine the cause of an early Monday morning crash. It was in Millsboro where a vehicle rolled over. We have some pictures to show you. You can see on your screen that is a black Jeep Patriot. And according to state police, it rolled over several times after running into a pole at Mount Joy Road. The utility pole broke into it, caused a power outage for a period of time. One person in that Jeep was taken to a nearby medical facility. No word yet on the victim's condition. All this mud we're going to show you in the Indian River soon going to be on its way out. The Delaware Department of Natural Resources says they plan to start dredging the Indian River this week. And just to really drive home how overdue this project is, there was actually a boat stuck there Monday morning. You can see that there. Once the dredging project is all said and done, Denrec says the Indian River will have more navigable waterways and as a bonus, restore the wetlands. One local thinks this project is well overdue. There was a family out here during a, a thunderstorm and they had to bring in a rescue squad and there was a, a young family with babies and toddlers and they had to take canoes out to them and to bring them in land. And people along the Indian River all hope that the time, the money and the effort can really clear a pathway for future boats. Delaware now taking on barking dogs. Check this out. The Delaware General Assembly approved amendments to the code relating to noise control of animals that includes barking dogs. House Bill 124 prohibits pet owners from allowing their dog to bark for an extended period. This is defined as continuously for 15 minutes or more and intermittently for at least 30 minutes. Now, there are a few exceptions, including dogs in animal shelters and dogs being provoked. A major legal win for former President Donald Trump, the Supreme Court ruled along ideological lines in a 6-3 decision that a pres president's, they're immune from prosecution in certain cases, of course, though, not all of them. NBC's Bree Jackson shows us how officials are reacting and what it now means for any possible prosecution by the Biden Justice Department of the former president. In a 6-3 decision, the high court's conservative majority ruled that former President Trump is immune from criminal prosecution for official acts as president, but not for unofficial ones. It doesn't give any immunity from ordinary criminal law to the president, the most powerful figure in our government. The majority opinion stating the president must be able to carry out his constitutional duties without undue caution. Liberal justices writing, with fear for our democracy, I dissent. Trump praising the ruling as a big win for our constitution and democracy, proud to be an American. President Biden condemning it. This nation was founded on the principle that there are no kings in America. The president urging voters to reject his political opponent at the polls this November. The American people must decide if Trump's embrace of violence to preserve his power is acceptable. Americans are deeply divided. This court will go down in history for that, for their intentional delay. They tipped the scales of justice. Trump's role on January 6th was the commander in chief and the president of the United States of America. And like he said, let's go peacefully. The Supreme Court's ruling extends the delay in the federal election interference case against Trump. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. And the ruling makes it all but certain that former President Trump will not face trial in his 2020 election interference case ahead of the 2024 election. We still have more news to get to this morning on Coast TV News Today. Coming up, Fenwick Island finalizing. We will tell you how far into the process the town is on dredging the Little Assawoman Bay. And Ferry Feet in Lewis, how the Cape May Lewis Ferry celebrated 60 years in business and what additions are planned now for the future. We have higher mortgages that could be on the horizon for some homeowners. A look at the current state of the housing market. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Welcome to the Brush Factory. Explore our over 60 local merchants and artists all together under one roof. You just never know what you'll find 
at the brush factory on Kings. Thank you so much for thinking of us. We greatly appreciate your support. At Coast Country, we're more than just music. We're a part of Delmarva's heart. Every month, Coast Country Cares, together with Spicer Brothers, steps up to serve our community. We're here helping local organizations and supporting our neighbors all year round. Join us in making a difference. Stay tuned to learn where we'll be next or visit coastcountry.com to see how you can be a part of our mission. Coast Country Cares, sponsored by Spicer Brothers, because we're Delmarva proud. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? Then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same-day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water, or maybe into some hot water if that's your issue. Same-day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877-GOLFER, FHFur.com. Oh, porches. Hello, aren't you the guy I see on TV, the porch protection guy? Yeah, I so would say. So they're made of marine grade materials that last for years? Yeah, I would And go. they say I could use my porch all year round? I think and so. And they keep the dirt pollen and rain and wind out? And, and the custom made right here locally? They are. I got to run, but it was really nice talking to you. Well, it was nice talking to you too. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. 612 and thereabouts on our Tuesday morning. Bay Health Cam and Dover seeing the sun shining through and 64 degrees shaping up to be a beautiful day. But a cool start in Salisbury and Delmar, upper 50s for you. Also for Redden and Millsboro right now, you're at 64. A little bit of a northerly breeze along the coast. The rest of us are calm with high pressure in place. You can see the clear skies all across Delmarva and much of the region as high pressure is building in. Here's our golf forecast for today. And Look at that putt right in the cup. 82 degrees, mostly sunny, pleasantly warm and less humid this afternoon. Make sure you bring plenty of water with you to the golf course anywhere you're going this afternoon to stay hydrated. July is National Vehicle Theft Prevention Month and Maryland State Police. They released a few tips to help you stay one step ahead. Maryland experienced a significant increase in stolen vehicles from 2022 to 2022. 23. This is due in large part to the national trend of Kia and Hyundai thefts being on the rise. So their tips include having an anti-theft device. Kia owners can pick one up from a nearby dealership and be sure to never leave your keys in your car and try your best to park in well-lit areas. This morning, a Del Mar man facing harassment charges after Delaware State Police say he followed a woman around the Rehoboth Beach Walmart on Sunday. Troopers say Jordan Newberry followed the woman around the store before following her in the parking lot in a stolen white GMC Sierra. You can see where police say this all happened on your screen. Newberry was eventually released at the grocery outlet. He is being held at Sussex Correctional Institution. Tens of thousands of homeowners, they're about to get slammed with higher monthly payments. Intercontinental Exchange says that about 102,000 homeowners who bought five-year adjustable rates will be facing a reset in the next 12 months. This comes as would-be home buyers face one of the most unaffordable housing markets we've seen in decades. And not as many people will be firing up their grills this 4th of July. The grill business saw huge sales during the pandemic, but inflated meat prices, they're making consumers now think twice. So some people, they're still grilling, but they're also just not really buying new ones. Still ahead this morning, a ferry feat in Lewis. We're going to tell you about the Cape May Lewis Ferry's plans to improve its fleet that may already be in motion. And we're seeing a beautiful sunrise this morning on our Boardwalk Plaza Camp 67 in Rehoboth right now. A gorgeous day on the way. A couple of days where we'll see lower humidity, then the heat and humidity returns for the 4th of July, but it remains dry. Then a better chance of storms into the weekend. I'll have your forecast details coming up in two minutes. Stay tuned. Independence Day, fireworks, ballpark classics, and Shorebirds baseball. Nothing can get better than that. Join the Shorebirds at Purdue Stadium Thursday, July 4th for the biggest, greatest, and most unforgettable fireworks show of the season, 
with the Shorebird Special Independence Day Fireworks Extravaganza after the game presented by Spicer Bros Construction Inc. Tickets are selling fast, so don't forget to save time. Buy your tickets online at theshorebirds.com slash tickets. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, Coast TV, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand's story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. The weather is brought to you by Spicer Brothers Construction. Born here to serve here. Transform your bath today with Bath by Spicer Brothers. Call now and ask about our Refresh for Less promotion and get a new bath or shower for only $69.95. Plus, get 20% off all upgrades. Imagine stepping into a beautifully renovated bath designed by our experts and installed by our certified professionals. This offer is hotter than a sauna and won't last forever. So don't miss out on our Refresh for Less promotion for just $69.95 with 20% off all upgrades. Before you sign, keep Bath by Spicer Brothers in mind because you deserve the best. Time is 617 and we are going live to the western part of Sussex County. This is Seaford on a clear and calm Tuesday morning. Just look at that there. Now, whenever we have these big holidays coming up, Bob, he always gets extra tense and people want to know for their barbecue plans. Yeah, how's the weather going to be yeah. for the 4th of July? We need to know. Yeah, no, I mean, it's looking good. It's looking good, looking good for the cookouts. And I think the weather will cooperate for the fireworks as well as we go into Thursday evening. So all in all looking good. It will get warmer. We will increase the humidity as we go into the 4th. We'll begin into the upper 60s early in the morning and then by noon 88. I think we're into the low 90s for highs there about right around 90 and then by 7 o'clock it's still kind of muggy and warm 85 but then again it's the 4th of July and it's supposed to be kind of warm and muggy so that's what it will be. As far as our humidity goes our muggy meter we're in the comfortable range the next couple of days. You can see we bounce up into the muggy range a little bit. I think that's mainly at night, but the next couple of days and afternoons will be dry. Then we start climbing that scale through muggy to humid to very humid to miserable by the holiday weekend. So yeah, it's going to be a little tough as we get into the actual weekend. 82 today, 84 Wednesday for the fourth 90 degrees. And then we step it up a little more Friday and Saturday with 91 and 92 respectively those days. Right now it's cool out there. 50 59 in Seaford, 58 Delmar, 59 Salisbury, 64 in Millsboro, Lewis, 68 Bethany Beach, 64. And we're looking at calm conditions as far as the winds go. A little bit of a breeze along the coast. We have high pressure in place. And with high pressure, it's usually light winds and nice weather. And that's what we've got. Look at all the clear skies from the Carolinas through Delmarva into the northeast right now. And that will keep us uh, pretty quiet, that high pressure for the next couple of days. Here's future cast this morning, 60s and 70s warming into the mid 70s mid morning lower 80s by about 12:30, and that'll be the highs lower 80s inland and then 60s and 70s along the coast and then we'll see those temperatures falling back tonight with high pressure and mainly clear skies a cool start to our wednesday upper 50s and 60s close to 70 along the coast and then into the afternoon i think a couple degrees warmer low to mid 80s and then we go into the fourth of july and as we go into thursday morning not as cool with temperatures in the 70s and then we're into the upper 80s and then eventually lower 90s but it's staying dry for the fireworks let's talk about massive hurricane burl real quick this is a classic major hurricane look at this thing
something just a monster 165 mile per hour winds it looks like its next target could be Jamaica as we go into the Wednesday and Thursday time period as a major hurricane then it weakens with some wind shear over the Yucatan and then winds up in the Gulf of Mexico not a threat to the East Coast but maybe we'll get some of its moisture way down the road Paul Davis seven day forecast 82 today to 84 Wednesday 4th of July 90 91 on your Friday then for the weekend hit and miss showers and storms uh, nothing that's going to wash away your holiday plans lower 90 Saturday and Sunday a few more storms on Monday and 89. Thank you Bob this week 60 years ago the very first car rolled onto a ship docked in Lewis and marked the official opening of the Cape May Lewis Ferry. Yeah we've looked now at the excitement the community had in 1964 and the fun that can still be found on a trip across the Delaware Bay. From where I stand on the banks of the Delaware Bay in Lewis, Cape May, New Jersey, it is 17 miles away. For comparison, the distance between Lewis and Milford is four miles longer. All it takes to get across the water to New Jersey is a ride on the Cape May Lewis Ferry. Yet up until the 1960s, the two beach communities might as well have been in different time zones. July 1st, 1964, a significant day in the history of our coast. Andrea Lippi drove his black Ford Mustang onto the ship in Lewis, making him the first customer of the Cape May Lewis Ferry. The whole week leading up to the start of the ferry was a celebration. They had uh, flyovers with military jets. They had military bands playing. For people living in Lewis, the new ferry brought with it a new sound. <laughs> well, you could be playing on the beach or you could be, uh, I, I lived on Burton's Avenue, and you could just hear it and, you know, there's the, the fire whistle and all kinds of other whistles. The, 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 uh, the ferry whistle was loud and distinct. I am holding here a copy of the original ray card from 1964. The cost for a car, motorcycle, or station wagons, one-way trip, $3.25. I think it's a little bit more today. In fact, the cost for a one-way trip today, $38. The ferry also ran nearly nonstop. The first departure each day was 3.20 a.m. compared to 8.45 now. The last one in 1964 at 11.30 p.m. in 2024, it's 7.45 at night. We try to match the patterns in demand that we're seeing, but we're really sort of an 11-hour range a day now, and that seems to fit the bill for for most of what people want. With today's schedule, there's always something to see on the trip between the two states. You know, go sit out on the deck and uh, see what's going on out there. We just seen a pod of dolphins out there too, so. We've heard about Cape May. We thought it'd be fun to go visit for the day. It's awesome. It's a little rocky, but you know, um, <laughs> it's not too bad. This is like the biggest ship I've ever been on, so it's pretty cool. I like it so far. For 40 years and over 50 million passengers, it's been quite a ride, and it's a ride that does not appear to be stopping anytime soon. The move for cleaner energy coming up. The Delaware River Bay Authority, they have developing plans for a hybrid ferry that's going to have battery power to go with diesel engines. According to the authority, 60% of the new ship's design should be completed by the end of this month. Bigger battery plans for the future. Eventually, as we get additional charging capacity and additional charging infrastructure, we're hoping that will be 100% green. And the hybrid plans are on schedule to be finished at the end of the year, with the new ship joining that fleet sometime in 2027. This does bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, this is a fun one, Paige. Yeah. What is your favorite activity to do while on the ferry? Yeah, you really don't have any wrong answers here, of course. 57% of you, though, you like to just enjoy the view. 27% of you look for wildlife, and then evenly matched there, read or relax, eat and drink. I think you can do all of the above. I would love to do all of the above. M me too. Read, relax eat, drink, and look for wildlife be and, enjoy the view. and be merry, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. All right, don't forget, keep voting. You can go to coasttv.com or the mobile app to continue voting there. Right now, though, still ahead on Coast TV News, Fenwick Island finalizing. We're telling you plans to dredge a little Asselman Bay. And when the town says the project could begin, so don't go anywhere. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Your getaway starts where it all began. 
Pennsylvania. A place with a thousand experiences that'll have you coming back for seconds. And they're just down the road. See the big bell right beside bigger battlefields? Go around the next bend and you'll find world-class cuisine, great lakes, and grand canyons. Small towns with big reputations and white water right next to calming waters. Come visit Pennsylvania, the great American getaway. 18 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Come to Out in the Light, where your treasure awaits. Nestled in the heart of America's coolest small town, Out in Delights is not just your average gift shop, but where you can go for extraordinary finds, carrying items such as nautical decor, vintage vinyl, jewelry, holiday decor year-round, souvenirs, and toys. Don't forget to add a little fun to your shopping by checking out Zoltar or our penny crushing machine. Find what delights you at Out in Delights on Main Street in Berlin, across the street from the Mermaid Museum. Helping people is why I became an attorney. I'm Kelly Geloff of the Law Offices of Tunnel and Razor, and I handle personal injury cases. When I meet with clients, they're usually in pain due to their injuries and overwhelmed by their situation. They come to me because they need someone to help. As your attorney, I will strive to have you feel less stressed and be the voice you need to get you the compensation you deserve. And you'll have me and my entire staff to help you through the legal process. Trust us to be your voice. Dealing with coastal flooding in Dewey Beach, if you've been in the town after a big heavy rainstorm, you know Reed Avenue is one area in particular that is prone to flooding. And later this month, the town will hear from an engineering group for an update on the installation and the performance of flaps installed on the storm water pipes on Reed Avenue Bayside. These flaps they help push the water out to the bay and officials are also going to review options to deal with the continued flooding in the town. All of this scheduled for July 18th at the Infrastructure Committee meeting. The Fenwick Island Town Council, they approved the contractor that was chosen by the dredging committee to dredge the Little Asselwoman Bay. So currently the bay is so shallow, boats and jet skis, they're constantly getting stuck. The total cost for the project is an estimated $2.3 million. The dredging is expected to begin in September and it should end this December. We bring back First Alert meteorologist Bob Trahi. I'm just running out of ways to describe yeah. these days. Humidity, not much of a factor, just a nice, comfortable day. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, it's a rare, a rare thing, thing, too, to get no humidity in July. So let's enjoy it while it's here for a couple of days, guys, because we know it's going to go away here as we get close to the 4th of July. For the beaches today, have your sunglasses and sunscreen. Chincoteague warming into the mid to upper 70s, and acetate may be a little cooler for you around 73, 74 as we go into the afternoon hours. Up the coast, Famic Island and Ocean City, you're looking at 60s early on and then warming into the 70s. I think Fenwick Island could be a little milder than Ocean City today. Ocean City is always uh, the cool spot, it seems. On the bay side, the next three days, Cambridge 82 today, then mid-80s Wednesday, then 90 on Thursday on the 4th. And then Chrisfield, you're in the uh, mid-80s today, low 80s Wednesday, and then 87 on the 4th. It's getting pretty muggy as well with the warmth as we go towards the 4th. And the holiday weekend, including a few more storms with the heat. I'll talk about that coming up in a few minutes. Looking forward to that, Bob. Thank you. Also, coming up after the break. Milton making some marijuana moves. We're telling you when the town will reconvene to decide on how it'll regulate recreational marijuana. Ocean City continues discussion in the public hearings tonight over beach ordinances for businesses. And hurricane hurtling to a level five. We're telling you where Barrel is now and what places are expected to be in its path of destruction. Coast TV News Today will be right back. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Berlin Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Berlin Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico.
Welcome to Farmhouse Pet Lodge, your pet's home away from home. Our state-of-the-art secure lodge offers exceptional care for dogs, cats, and other pets. For daycare or boarding with private suites, custom food prep, UV air filtration, centralized disinfection, and 24-7 care, your pet will be safe, healthy, and happy. Book now and get 10% off your first stay. Ask about our grooming services and tailored training programs. Give your furry friends an amenity-filled vacation at our family-owned, conveniently located Farmhouse Pet Lodge. Check out Preston Ford's 4th of July sales event and see why everyone is saying cars cost less in Preston. This 4th of July, you could save over $8,000 off MSRP on a new 2024 Ford F-150 XLT. We have a wide selection of over 900 Ford models available for immediate purchase. Shop with us online at PrestonFord.com and we'll deliver it to your driveway today. The 4th of July sales event is the time to get your best deal at Preston Ford. Remember, cars cost less in Preston. There's a difference between a great golf setting and a setting for great golf. Unbelievable. This isn't just the Open. It's golf as it's meant to be. The Open Championship on NBC and Peacock. Part of the greatest summer of golf. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Berlin Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Berlin Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. Now on Coach TV News. It's a cooler start to our Tuesday with 50s and 60s out the door and another pleasantly warm July day on the way. It does start to warm up and get hotter for the 4th. I'll have the latest on the holiday weekend forecast coming up. Category 5 Hurricane Burl causing havoc in the South Atlantic. What awaits next in its path? Marijuana moves in Milton as the town takes up the issue. What restrictions are being placed in the new ordinance? Public policy push in Ocean City. The two issues set to be reviewed tonight at a public hearing. This is Coast TV News Today. July 2nd, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. The time is 631. Travelers arriving this week to take in all the Independence yep. Day festivities in our communities. And there's a lot of them, so get excited. A but lot of uh, festivities or travelers? Oh, both. Okay. That's a very good point. Yeah, that applies to both for sure. But uh, we'll bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trahi now. Bob, it should be great weather, uh, hot weather, but great weather for the holiday. Yeah, and you know, we were talking during the break too how July is really the only month for families, you know, parents and kids to be together because you know June you're getting out of school and then August you're planning for school so uh, yeah a lot of folks coming to the beaches and we're looking at temperatures pretty nice this morning 65 in Bethany Beach 68 Indian River Inlet but inland it's cooler 59 Salisbury 59 Seaford 62 in Milton right now and the winds the tendency is coming in out of the northeast and a little bit of a breeze along the coast uh, besides that it's calm it's gorgeous weather it's uh, Chamber of Commerce weather weather, I should mention. For Del Mar, we're looking at clear skies, and that's the case really from North Carolina all the way up into the Northeast as high pressure is building in. So we're watching those temperatures warming up this morning into the mid 70s by nine by noon, already 80 from Berlin up to Ellendale, 81 in Seaford, cooler 60s and 70s at the beaches, and you'll be in the 70s along the coast today. Fenwick Island around 72, Bethany Beach 73, but inland 81 in Georgetown and Millsboro around 82 in Del Mar. So temperatures a couple degrees below average. Here's today's checklist. Yeah, go out and spend some time outside. It'll be a beautiful early July day, but dress for summer. Have water on hand. Make sure you have a cold beverage that higher sunscreen that SPF 30 plus and the sunglass is always good to have with a lot of sunshine. Definitely, Bob. Thank you so much. Now, Hurricane Barrel, that's now a category five hurricane. It's the earliest of that strength on record in the Atlantic. For right now, it's I. It's in fairly open waters in the Caribbean Sea, but that is expected still to impact Haiti and the Dominican beginning today. Could eventually hit parts of Mexico. Right now, though, the weather in the Cancun area is still looking good. That community, though, still getting some schools ready to use as shelters. Happening tonight, public hearing in Ocean City on two issues. The first one, it deals with outdoor merchandise display. A temporary policy is now in effect. Notable change of the temporary one is a possible $500 fine for a first offense. The effectiveness of this policy will be reviewed in the fall. The second deals with marijuana business licenses. In March, there was a six month moratorium on issuing the licenses. That was extended. This one expires in September. 
Milton Town Council is moving forward with its plans to regulate recreational marijuana. Right now, an ordinance is drafted that aims to prohibit the following businesses in town limits. Cultivation, manufacturing, and testing facilities, as well as marijuana retail stores and smoking lounges. Council voted in favor of scheduling a public hearing. According to the resolution adopted, it will be held September 9th at 6.30 at the Milton Library. Now check out this. All this mud. This is the Indian River. Yeah. Soon, it's going to be on its way out. Ooh, kind of gross there, isn't it? Coast TV's news reporter Kevin Zappé shows us how this project will reshape the Indian River and why for those that boat in that area, it's long overdue. This may look like a pristine stretch of waterway, suitable for boating. But if you zoom in, you could see most of it is actually mud. And that's the way things are up and down the Indian River. Diana Parker lives right on the water and says it's been a problem for years. The dredging is needed, extremely needed. And now that's exactly what's going to happen. The Delaware Department of Natural Resources say they plan to start dredging the Indian River this week. And just to really drive home how overdue this project is, check out what Coast TV found when we made a trip to the dredging site. To show you how bad the dredging is needed in the Indian River, as you look right behind me, there is a boat that got stuck here just this morning. Although the family was rescued, they had to leave their boat behind. And Parker tells us that's something she's seen before. Because uh, there was a family out here during a, a thunderstorm and they had to bring in a rescue squad and there was a, a young family with babies and toddlers and they had to take canoes out to them and to bring them in land. Once the dredging project is all said and done, the boat is in position to begin dredging, and the people that live along the Indian River hopes that all the time, money, and effort can really clear a pathway for boats and beautiful waterways. I'm Kevin Zappay in Millsboro, Coast TV News. The Supreme Court ruled Monday that presidents are immune from criminal prosecution for official acts while in office. However, they can be prosecuted for acts that are not part of their official duties. The case involves the Biden Justice Department charges against Donald Trump that goes back to the lower court to determine which allegations in Trump's federal election interference case indictment are determined to be official versus the unofficial acts. Biden's Justice Department has a four-count indictment against Trump for questioning the results of the 2020 election. And Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says she will file articles of impeachment for Supreme Court justices. It could be as soon as next week. In her post on social media, the New York Democrat didn't specify which justices she will include. This move comes in the aftermath of the Supreme Court's decision that we just talked about that regards the immunity uh, against former president or involving former president Donald Trump and some of the cases against him. Also new this morning, Hunter Biden is suing Fox News and its parent corporation over a miniseries that aired about his legal troubles. Hunter Biden accused the network of smearing him and unlawfully publishing intimate images of him naked and of him having sex. The six-part miniseries, a dramatized mock trial, appeared on Fox's digital streaming service. The president's son threatened to sue Fox back in April, and the network did take down the miniseries. But the lawsuit claims promotional materials for the miniseries are still on some Fox News linked social media pages. Got more news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Still ahead, another offshore wind meeting blows near Delmarva. We're telling you how long Denrec says it'll accept comments on the topic. Also, Summer League Scorcher, the scoring output in a Monday night basketball matchup involving Delmar and a powerful team from the midshore. And a continued crash investigation. How the Indian River Volunteer Fire Company says this crash happened in Harbison. Stick with us on Coast TV News today. Struggling to find lasting relief for chronic pain? Acupuncture is a holistic approach to treating chronic pain that provides lasting results. I have been struggling with chronic back pain for years and felt like nothing would be able to help. Then I discovered acupuncture and IV therapy. Now I'm pain free and I get to live my life happily with my kids. At Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, we provide customized treatment plans that can relieve your symptoms. For more information, visit delmarvaexperts.com. Middays with April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through my workday. She plays my favorite songs. She helped me find my furry friend. She's always making me smile. Listening to April is the best way to get through my workday. She makes me feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 1039 
and 1063 each day from 10 to 3. This is the big moment here. It is just a work of art. Effortless yeah. great. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh baby. Wow. Oh, oh baby. Boy, was that good. The style, the flow, she's got it all going for her right now. That's jaw-dropping. Incredible. Excellence and swagger. I'm just sitting here in awe. There's a difference between a great golf setting and a setting for great golf. You've seen the Open before, right? We're talking about wind, sea, rain, dunes, bunkers, rough. There's a reason the forces that make the Scottish coastline also make the champion golfer of the year. Unbelievable. This isn't just the Open. It's golf as it's meant to be. The Open Championship on NBC and Peacock, part of the greatest summer of golf. This is a promo. <laughs> yeah. Del Marva's Rock Station. Stay in morning. 93. And we're looking at temperatures in the 50s and 60s right now. 65 in Millsboro, Georgetown, 62, 60 in Seaford, 59 Ocean Pines and Bethany Beach right now at 66. Winds, the tendency is out of the northeast right now, but pretty light along the coast. We've got high pressure over the top of us, so that means nice weather, quiet conditions, and all across the east coast, at least from the Carolinas to the northeast, looking really good with nice weather. Here's our golf forecast. An excellent putt means an excellent weather on the golf course. Make sure you have the water with you on the golf cart. 82, pleasantly warm and lower humidity. Call the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. It's 443-880-9100. Sponsored by Baird Mandalas, Broxton, and Federico. All right, Bob, thank you so much. Police are continuing to investigate a head-on crash that happened in Harbison. What we're going to show you is damage to different cars on your screen. A blue Tesla and a pickup truck were involved. The Indian River Volunteer Fire Company saying this happened Sunday night at the intersection of Beaver Dam and Holly Mountain Roads. Delaware State Police are still investigating. Right now, Millsboro working on its inventory of the town's water system. It's over 100 years old. By October 16th, the town says it is required to submit an inventory of all water service lines to the Delaware Department of Health and Social Services. And this is due to state and federal lead and copper rule requirements. Survey now open on the town's website. That's where homeowners can provide information on their service line. The Rehoboth Beach Patrol is hosting the 2024 United States Life Saving Association's Mid-Atlantic Regional Championships. It's happening at 9.30 on July 10th. Officials have moved that event from Rehoboth Beach to Towers Beach. That's because of that ongoing construction at the Rehoboth Beach Patrol headquarters. 350 competitors will take place in the high-level training and conditioning activities. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning, a Henlopen versus Bayside matchup in Summer League Basketball. Luke Mealy and Brian Dyke takes us to the action. Groove City, the title favorites in this league, taking on the Cats from Del Mar. Let's get right to the highlights because Groove City was rolling from the opening tip. But early on, look, no points for over four and a half minutes until Samaj Pinder takes the lid off the hoop with a three. Yeah, we both were shocked that there were no points scored in this given the prolific offenses, but then you just see why. The defense like that, Dustin Peterson with a huge denial, and then he gets on the break, the floater, to get the Cats on the board. Peterson was a one-man crew for the Cats early on, doing everything he could to keep them in striking distance of this vaunted Groove City squad. Isaiah Schoolfield. Put that one in. It was a 5-5 ball game, and then Kobe Ennels went to work, getting the and one, picking up three points the hard way. Then the behind, the back to Anthony Hughes for two. Yeah, great communication there. Kobe knew exactly where Hughes was going to be and flips him the ball. Boy, Peterson did everything he could for the Cats in this game, led them with nine points on the night. Time here, Waples was good as well on the break with the finger roll. Now, Peterson and Waples are the two co-pilots driving this cat's train. They got off to a good start keeping their squad in early. You see just 13-9 early on, and then it was all Groove City. Ennels again ahead of the pack. A couple of big shots for Kobe. He led all scores with 18 points. There's Sterling Perkins. He had some nice finishes in this one. As they go on to win this one, 64-32. 
Here's what's coming up today at 4 on Coast Life. Counting down the days until the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, we are featuring a Maryland native and an athlete you've definitely heard of, Katie Ledecky. And the battle is on during the great debate, what is the ultimate food to eat during the 4th of July? We hear from you. All that and more today at 4 on Coast Life. Ooh, those fries look good. Looking forward to Coast Life and that food. Tidal Health Cam and Seaford, lots of blue skies, 60 degrees right now. We're looking at a pleasant July day, and that nice weather will continue for a couple more days. Then hot and humid for the 4th, but dry, but then a better chance of storms for the remainder of the holiday weekend. I'll have your full forecast in two minutes. Stay tuned. Del Marva's Rock Station, 93.5, The Beach. As your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we wear many hats. We take pride in serving our members and our community by going the extra mile in everything we do. Because we not only work here, we live here. We're Delaware Electric Cooperative, and we're proud to keep the lights on. Hi, this is Amber Brazier. Welcome to Brazier's Carpet Care. Drop off your rugs today or have us pick them up and let our state-of-the-art cleaning plant do the rest. Many methods are used to clean rugs, from air dusting to remove fine soil to soaking in our whirlpool. Hand-knotted rugs are carefully washed, rinsed with cold water and wrung out, followed by a trip through the centrifuge before entering our controlled temperature drying room. We also repair all types of rugs from braided to hand knotted. Quality cleaning by people who care. That's Brazier's Carpet Care. Show a hardworking woman in your life the appreciation they deserve with Working Woman Wednesdays. It could be your mother, your wife, a coworker, or any woman you know. Nominate them for a chance to win a special prize pack. Go to WBOC1025.com, fill out a short form, and tell us why they are so special and deserve to be honored. Then join me, Stinson, every Wednesday as I announce that week's winner. Working Woman Wednesdays, only on 1025 WBOC. Weather brought to you by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, dedicated to excellence in Delaware and Maryland. Thank you for calling Coastal Comfort. This is a complimentary call. A couple of years ago, I had my heat pumps replaced. Last night, I noticed one of them wasn't working right. Somebody was out here within a couple of hours, and it's working perfectly. But I was in the service industry for 33 years. Good service is something you can't find today. It very much is appreciated. Your, your crew is a good crew. It's really fine people are professional and they're efficient. Coastal Comfort, a carrier factory authorized dealer. Carrier, turn to the experts. It's now 647 on your Tuesday morning. We are going to take a live look now at Laurel from above. And ooh, that just looks calming there, doesn't it, Bob? Mm, it does. It does. Beautiful, Beautiful start to the day. And, and really not many days in July, Paige, we can say, wow, well, low humidity, temperatures below average. So let's get out there and enjoy it. We're looking at nice weather today, the next couple of days. And then we go into the 4th of July, and I think we're keeping it dry, just muggier and a little warmer, upper 60s in the morning hours. But by noon, maybe you're firing up the grill, looking at 88 degrees, around 90, I think, for the high. And then by the evening, we're falling through the 80s, and I think our fireworks forecast will cooperate as well. Here's our muggy meter. I think we're comfortable the next couple of days. At night, we'll be a little muggy. And then you see the line starting to go up on 4th of July as we're getting into the humid range and very humid to miserable as we go into the weekend, kind of like last weekend. But I don't think it's going to be as hot as last weekend. Weekend. 82 today, 84 on Wednesday. Then we go into the fourth. We're looking at around 90, 91 Friday, and then 92 on Saturday. And then we're adding humidity to the mix as well. Right now, out the door, we've got some upper 50s from Salisbury to Del Mar and Redden 58, 66 in Millsboro, and mid to upper 60s along the coast right now. And the wind tendency is out of the northeast, so a little bit of a breeze along the coast. But for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much calm out there as we have high pressure in place just to our west. You can see it lining up through the Ohio Valley into the northeast, keeping us high and dry from the Carolinas through Delmarva up into the northeast. Here's Futurecast warming us into the mid-70s by 9 a.m. And then as we head into the 1230 hour, take that lunch outside, looking at temperatures in the low 80s, 70s at the coast. So you will be a little cooler. Bethany Beach 73, Fenwick Island 72, but lower 80s, Millsboro back through Delmar. 
And as we go through this evening, temperatures falling back from the 60s. And then I think by Wednesday morning, we're even into the upper 50s for some. The rest of us, 60s to around 70 degrees. By Wednesday afternoon, a couple degrees warmer into the low to mid 80s. And then we're moving into the 4th of July, a muggy and mild start. Temperatures in the 70s, upper 80s by noon, then lower 90s by 5 o'clock as I think we're keeping it dry. Here is massive, impressive hurricane barrel, the earliest category five in the Atlantic Basin. And this thing is just a buzzsaw, just a monster packing winds of 165 miles per hour. Looks like the next target could be Jamaica as we go into Wednesday and Thursday as a major hurricane. Then it undergoes some shear. It looks like it weakens over the Yucatan Peninsula, then winds up into the Gulf of Mexico. Not a threat to the East Coast. Paul Davis, seven day forecast warming up the next couple of days up to 90 by the 4th of July, 91 on Friday. And then for the weekend, hit and miss showers and storms for the holiday weekend with lower 90s and still a few more storms Monday and a high of 89. All right, Bob, thank you. Denrec wanting to keep the public in sharing their opinions on the proposed offshore wind project that's been the center of a debate for a while now. On July 9th, Denrec will have a virtual public hearing regarding the wind farm that is to be located off the coast of Maryland. The plan for the wind farm's power transmission cables are to land at Delaware's Seashore State Park, Three Hours Beach, and then connect with the substation to be built near the Indian River Power Plant. Along with the virtual hearing, written comments will be accepted to Denrec until September 9th. Delmarva Power providing options to several communities in ways that go beyond energy service. They have a grant program that provides $35,000 for environmental and resiliency projects. This includes open space preservation and improvements to parks and recreation resources. The applications are open now and the deadline for this is August 30th. Time is now 6.51. We're going to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet, we got a sweet cat going on here with great fur on your screen. That's PETA. PETA has really nice tan-colored fur. Maybe that's where they got the name. Paige, you're thinking maybe there's a Hunger Games element to this. Maybe. Whatever the case, Drew knows. And Drew is the one who submitted PETA to us. Drew's in Rehoboth Beach. Yeah, Drew either likes PETA bread or the Hunger Games, and I think you can't go wrong with either of those. So we want to keep seeing all your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos. Tell us what makes your pets so special. Scan the QR code and then submit your furry friend to Coast TV News. After that, you can watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. We're seeing a lot of folks out and about on the boardwalk this morning, jogging, walking, you know, everything in between. Beautiful day, and we're warming up, heading into the 4th of July and staying dry. Then increasing storms into the weekend, but not a washout. I'll have your 10-day forecast coming up next. Stay tuned. Not everyone wants a big funeral. For those seeking a simple alternative, the Eastern Shore's most trusted family and funeral service offers another option. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Service is simple and affordable. A direct cremation tribute starts at just $15.95 or choose to have a small visitation service serving Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia with easy consultation by phone and streamlined electronic documentation. Learn more at easternshorecremation.com. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Services, simply respectful. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Give your backyard a cozy enhancement with Patio Systems in Lewis, Delaware. Integrity is the pillar of our craft. With quality craftsmanship to transform your yard or deck into a custom oasis, providing you comfort all year round. Take control of the elements with the Shore's best selection of pergolas, retractable awnings, screen and glass enclosures, and a wide selection of modern decking and railing systems personalized your way. For exceptional workmanship at reasonable prices, contact Patio Systems, your backyard living specialist. Locally owned and operated since 2001. Welcome to the party. We all make this show together. You guys, this is our show. You just never know who you're gonna meet here. You can feel the energy in this room.
every single person needs to be included in these conversations. Let's do this! Let's make everyone's day a little brighter. Drew Barrymore, weekdays at noon on Coast TV. Weather shapes our lives. At Coast TV, first alert weather means we are always at work, ensuring you have the information you need. Weather coverage that prioritizes you. Coast TV first alert weather, your safety, our commitment. It's now 6.54. It's time for some things you need to know before you go. Hurricane Barrel is now a Category 5 hurricane. It's the earliest of that strength on record in the Atlantic. Right now, its eye is in fairly open waters of the Caribbean Sea, but it is expected to impact Haiti and the Dominican beginning today. It could also eventually hit parts of Mexico. The weather in Cancun still looking good for now, but that community is getting some schools ready to be used as shelters. The Supreme Court ruled on Monday that presidents are immune from criminal prosecutions for official acts while in office. However, they can be prosecuted for acts that are not part of their official duties. This is a case involving the Biden Justice Department, their charges against Donald Trump. This now goes back to the lower court to determine which allegations in Trump's federal election interference case indictment are determined to be official versus unofficial. Biden's Justice Department has a four-count indictment against Trump for questioning the results of the 2020 election. The Milton Town Council is moving forward with its plans to regulate recreational marijuana. Right now, an ordinance is drafted that aims at prohibiting the following businesses in town limits. Cultivation, manufacturing, and testing facilities, as well as marijuana retail stores and smoking lounges. Council voted in favor of scheduling a public hearing, and according to the resolution adopted, this will be held September 9th at 6.30 at the Milton Library. Cup Noodles has introduced a new flavored instant ramen that's actually more like a dessert than an entree. It's Cup Noodles Campfire S'mores. Yeah, get this, Paige. Yeah. This limited edition Cup Noodles has a sauce-based flavor blend of chocolate, marshmallow, and graham crackers. I can get behind this. It comes, I can too. Yeah, many marshmallows for the topping. Ew, but marshmallows and noodles? I don't know about that. The result is quick and gooey dessert. Okay, may seem untraditional. But I think this could be good, Paige. I really do. I do, too. I, I'm just a little confused. The noodles with the, yeah. the marshmallow. I'm going to go all those other flavors. They're going to overpower okay. whatever th issue you may have with the noodles. I think my issue is the texture. I'm a texture girl. Okay. You know what I mean? But I'll try it. Okay. Okay. You'll try it? I will, yeah. Bob, you're not, you don't sound happy. Separate. separate. You know, I like, you know, I like noodles my noodles here, here for an entree, entree and then my <laughs> s'mores over here separate from my dessert. My two course meal. Yes. All right. Day part forecast. Now on to the important things. Maybe that was important. We're looking at temperatures in the 60s, 70s, then eventually lower 80s. Wind shifting to the east today, but low humidity. A little cooler at the beaches with temperatures into the 70s. Paul Davis 10 day forecast warming up towards the 4th, 84 Wednesday, and on the 4th, 90, looking good for the cookouts and the fireworks in the evening. And then hot and muggy for the rest of the holiday weekend, dry Friday, but increasing storm Saturday. Saturday and Sunday won't be a washout, hit and miss, and then a summery pattern into next week, hit and miss storms. Temperatures a little cooler into the upper 80s. All right, Bob, thank you, and thank you all for joining us on Coast TV News today. And the Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m. We'll be back with Coast TV Midday at 11, so stick around. And for even more news and coverage and count on, download our Coast TV News and Weather apps. Have a great Tuesday morning, everybody.